and welcome to the Mechanical Rookies. Uh, today we're going to be changing some rear brakes and pads. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Um, you're going to need, well what are you going to need? Some discs, yeah. some pads, um, and we'll show you the tools as we go along. So uh, here we go. Right, so this is what you're going to need. We've got um, a set of rear brake discs and pads. Uh, we're using Mintex because they're a pretty decent brand. Just make sure that you um, put your number plate into one of these sites now and make sure you've got the right disc because some discs can be different to others on different models of cars with sporty models and as such. Jack the car up from the rear using his official jacking point. Under no circumstances go underneath the vehicle without properly placing jack stands. So as we're taking the wheel off we're going to place it underneath the vehicle uh, just as a safety precaution if the car was to ever fall off its stand. As you can see here the reason we're uh, changing these discs on the outside they're starting to sort of take away the edge of them uh, sort of going to rusty but they've also as you can see look like a record. Um, I believe this could even be warped but this is really why we're changing them. Uh, so first things first you need to take the caliper off. To take the caliper off at uh, the back of the caliper you've got these you've got a bolt there that you need to take out and a top bolt which is just there. So you want to take these off uh, and then this will allow you to remove the caliper. Just before we take the caliper off, there's a, a brake pad wear sensor uh, which illuminates on your dash obviously if your uh, brake pads get too low. Um, it just unclips there, so we'll show you that in the clip. We're now taking out the uh, bolts that hold the caliper in and we're now just going to undo this um, clip which just holds the brake pads in place. And this, you have to give it a bit of a wiggle, but it should, you push it up. It does let go some way. There we go. And there we go. Hey. So uh, before you do take the caliper off, you're going to have to put something underneath. So we put uh, a box of salt <laughs> and a jack stand just to rest the caliper so it doesn't stretch your um, brake pipe. Because you don't want them breaking and having to replace them. So this, it should just lift off. You might have to give it a bit of a wiggle. Uh, there we go. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is going to take out this Torx head bolt. Uh, it should be a Torx head 50 size uh, piece that we're using. Uh, we've got the handbrake on so this doesn't move. I'm just going to do this. And this will allow you to take off the hub. Right, as you can see, it's a bit hard to see. There's a sort of like a cog looking thing. So, what you've got to do is take the disc off the hub. You gotta release that. So what you're gonna do, want to do is turn it down to loosen it, um, and then this releases the handbrake from if it's stuck on the hub or anything like that. Now, you may not have to do this to be honest, but it's just an extra thing that is something. Um, and to be honest, I'm not sure if all cars are the same, but they may have something very similar on it. So I just check. Uh, so next you're going to want to uh, take this off, so as you can see this one is pretty loose. On the other side which we've done, um, it wasn't very loose so we had to use a, a rubber mallet which we should have around somewhere, which we don't have. <laughs> um, and, and just tap the back of it just to make it fall forward and this should hopefully come off with a bit of persuading. one came off that easy. <laughs> Get rid of any excess brake dust around the area. Now you can use brake cleaner if you want, uh, but I'm just going to use an old rag and get off what we can. Okay, now to replace the brake pads, we're going to remove the kind of brake pad carrier, which is here, which is attached with a bolt in there which we've just inserted a an allen key piece um and we're just gonna use that and then it's got out. two on each one uh one on each side we're gonna rotate it and take it off well, there's one on the top and one on the bottom okay so with those uh bolts out you should be now be able to lift out the pad carrier and the pads should just come out 
just like that. This one's held in, so you just have to pull it towards you. And now we've got that, that wire we're going to disconnect. So as you just take it out of here, you loosen these off by pulling them apart and then you just ease it out very gently. Right, so you might find that the piston inside the caliper has actually moved out because obviously the other pads have worn down so much so it'll be a fair bit out. On this one it's not. So if that does happen you will have to clamp the brake pipe, open the bleed screw and that means that you'll have to bleed the brakes again once they're all sorted out. And then you just push the, the piston in like that. Yeah. Right, so you've got your shiny new pads and first thing you're going to want to do is get some copper grease. It's about £8 I think from like Halfords or somewhere. You can get it online wherever you want. Get that, just put that on the back. Uh, and what this does is it stops your brakes squeaking in warm weather and things. You'll hear uh, now and again, you might find that you've you've got a squeak and this eliminates that from happening. What you're not allowed to do is put it on the actual friction plate, which is on the front, as this means that you'll reduce the friction and your brakes will just be useless. Like cheese? Yeah. Right, these old uh, brake pads have this kind of a protective plate on them. So what you're going to do is just going to unclip it from the brake pad and then clip it onto your new one. So what we're doing next is we're going to take the pad, the new pad, to put back into the piston. So it's got some clamps on it and all you're going to do is just press it in like Alex is doing there and it should clip in. There you go. And so your next pad into there. Uh, and then you're going to get your carrier, which is here. And you're going to place that, once I've figured out which way it goes, there you go, place that over. So push the pad as far back as it can go, and the carrier should hold over it just like that. Yeah, ready to put the screws in. After New Year break, this will come with some sort of grease on them. Um, give them a good rub down because obviously you don't want this on when you're breaking. Um, it won't help at all. We've just tightened the adjuster by pushing it upwards and that's just uh, expanded the uh, shoes. So it should go on but it might be a bit tight so if it is just ease it off slightly but this allows you to then uh, loosen it once it's on, loosen it slightly so it's nice and free but it's not uh, too tight so you get the nice balance. There we go. And just line it up there to the torque screw and we'll just bob that in. Right, so you're gonna get your torque piece again and just bob it in. What we've done is we've, got, we've put the copper grease on. Um, as we've learned a lesson by everything else, everything should be copper grease so it's easy to take off after, even your wheel nuts. So it's, it's a good piece of advice to take that. Pop that on there. Looks like after something's been eaten away. <laughs> so we're just reconnecting the uh, that sensor clip. So you just insert it back into that little gap on the pad. Yeah. Right, just putting the caliper back on now, it should uh, go straight on. Also got Turn the handbrake adjuster, pushing upwards to tighten and downwards to loosen. Then turn the disc and make sure there's only slight friction. Place the wheels back on and tighten them in. Take the jack stands out, lower the car, and you're done. Make sure to test the handbrake and the brakes very slowly before taking it out for its first run. 